Just like that, we're in 2024. Mad, isn't it? Absolutely flies. Anyway, this one was a bit of a uh, mixed bag video, should I say. Um, basically, we were on and off this job just due to the freezing temperatures and all the rain and floods and stuff. So uh, I videoed what I could, but uh, the job itself, quite simple. Um, it's just a big boundary wall. It's about three metres high. Uh, this section, which had collapsed, uh, was about, I think, about 12, 13 metres long. Um, like I say, the, the estate wall actually goes for about half a mile and it's just been fixed up in places. Um, I think originally it was a dry stone wall, um, but over time it's just been sort of bunged up, pointed. It's just been sort of fixed up to stop it collapsing. But like I say, this section had totally gone, probably due to the fact it was absolutely riddled with ivy and uh, small trees growing up the side of it which obviously never helps anything but yeah so like i say um we were on and off it i think we started this in uh oh december i think it was starting in december like i say there's been a few of us on it we've just been going there when we get the spare day um whilst i was cracking out a load of little jobs um but yeah like i say you know i think i think it was start of january i think it was start of january but uh overall the build itself after the uh footing was put in i didn't put the footing in but i believe it was just um a concrete footing um just because the ground's quite like rubbly and it's just obviously been it's not a natural bank of what it was built on um or what it's been built up to basically um so we they just put in a concrete footing and just build off it um it's it's a half and half wall the way we built it um it has got mortar in it um but it is sort of like we've built it quite sort of like a dry stone so we just it's just because we we had no option of getting uh some like sort of bigger stone in because like i think it was originally going to be put back as a full dry stone even though like i say it's been repaired and stuff with mortar um but like just the stone is just it's just too small um so and obviously because because the, the width of the wall is like at the base it's gonna it's like nearly a meter wide um obviously it retains for about a meter or two and then obviously that it's sort of like yeah a meter and a half a meter and a half of its retaining um so we'll just really batter it in and then obviously once we get to the, like the uh, ground level like i say because half it's retaining we'll batter it quite severely um so bring it in nice and tight if you know what i mean to the top but um yeah we it's just the, the stone is just it's not going to go very far for that sort of size of wall so uh it was just agreed um you know what i mean so we're told to use mortar but we did build it quite sort of just like a hybrid basically um just so it's sort of like just got layers of mortar not like absolutely compacted if you know what i mean um and yeah so the stone's a limestone just a sort of local limestone so nice and easy really to dress and that so it was just more of just sort of getting it up because it's right next to a wall um a wall it's right next to a, it is next to a wall um it is a wall but um not right next to a road uh so we just sort of was instructed to get it up but like i say we were just on it i tried videoing as much as i could basically um but um there was a few of us on it and we were just sort of on it the odd day when we could obviously sort of you know not when it was sort of minus eight and absolutely uh flooding around us basically so uh it was only about a seven day build overall but because we were just on and off it it was just just felt like it went on forever but yes like i say you'll see it anyway um yeah just like i say it's a bit of a random sort of video because um yeah I, I, a i wasn't always on it and b it was uh yeah just sort of just mad mad weather mad weather we've had at the start of january but uh anyway let's uh crack on with this one and uh yeah like i say it was a nice build actually it was nice to be on a nice straight section for once and uh yeah cracked on with it like i say so we took the wall down separated all the stone dug down about sort of three four hundred mil um it was about that sort of deep from ground level like i say a, a concrete footing got put in and then a couple of courses um and then yeah we just absolutely we did it did go up really quick like i say i think it was like you know it was only never more than three of us and it was about a seven day build so yeah it wasn't too bad really like i say um but uh yeah anyway let's uh, crack on and uh let's see how she turns out love it boom
It's a beast going here. It's a beast. What size that shooting through there?
What a beautiful morning. Righty, we are up to the bank. So as you can see by my beautiful, beautiful assistant here, uh, we're just getting it level. So we just whacked in a load of rough big stone um, because it is, as you can see, it is all going to be underground. So uh, Cam Cam is just uh, getting a nice level line, which is just going to be slightly above ground. So then when we do get fully above ground, we can just keep it nice and coarse and uh, just do what we can do really. But uh, stone is getting low, but we will uh, do our best to make a wall. Anyway, let's crack on with today. Lovely jubbly. Do one base. Oh, baby. So many like little thin bits, it's amazing. Oh, that's something gone. I'm just saying, I've, I've literally got this little course to fill in here, and it's just lovely. Because all I've got is small little thin bits, it's actually harder trying to pick out the big stuff.
go. She's up. Um, we have left the top like we have, literally just flat, because uh, that still needs to be decided on what's going to happen with it. I don't know if it's going to be the dreaded cement dome or um, some sort of flat tops. But I know on the left side, if you're standing on the garden side, um, is like crazy paving style. So it's like sort of stones just butted up to each other, then pointed. Or And then uh, the other side is just, it's literally just like left. It's got nothing on it. It's just mud and dirt and uh, yeah, just little, little plants and stuff growing in it so that'll probably need doing to be honest with you if you want to try and save that but uh yeah like i say that that's where we've been told to stop so uh that'll be uh decided soon um so yeah like i say we are pretty fine i think we we pulled out um like i think it was about three barrel loads of sort of probably ideal stone that's what we had left from that job and it i say ideal size wise it would be ideal because it was you know sort of biggish stone but I had no, it was just sort of like rubble, do you know what I mean? Um, and like I say, a lot of heart in that, but like these are little shards, do you know what I mean? So um, we sort of got, we just left it that flat. I think it's like, if you look at it, it's sort of like, ugh, like a centimetre lower than either side. But there was just no way of us sort of getting a nice sort of course, well, to flatten it basically. So we just, yeah, we just, just to just, we decided to leave it where we did because um, it would just, sort of be the best look for it but like i say a top you know once a top goes on it will obviously you know flatten out that line wouldn't it but uh yeah like i say first big job of 2024 well bigger job should i say um it was nice to get one done because like i said earlier it was just we were on and off it hence why it's a bit of a sort of random video um and uh yeah well just sort of random points of the project but like yeah it was nice to see it go up and like i say i'm glad that we pretty much used every bit of stone like i said earlier as well we couldn't we had no you know there was no go for getting more stone in because if we would have just got maybe a couple of ton of like sort of big through stones or something that would have been absolutely lovely to do it as a true drive but uh we were instructed not to so you can only do what uh, you're asked to do on these uh subby jobs in it so uh anyway let's uh crack on with this year and uh yeah let's see what happens but uh yeah thank you very much for watching Take care, look after yourselves, and uh, I will see you in a bit.